Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to create a fantasy landscape in the app Hypaint. So here, first I am opening a screen size canvas and here you can see the layer is empty and in the first layer, uh, first of all I am going to apply the background, for background I am going to use the gradient. So that is the gradient icon and here by clicking on this you can change the color of this side and again I'm clicking on this and making it a little bit like an aqua blue color and we can also adjust the color panel like this just drag this you know line like this and you can if you want like a diagonal type you can make it a little bit in a diagonal way and this is our bottom layer now now in this layer i'm going to use ballpoint pen brush and i'm going to draw a planet so everything in this um, uh, you know landscape will be of aqua blue color and you no know, orange or terracotta color and for this i'm going to keep it aqua blue and now you can also change the color once you draw a circle and if you want to fill that circle you can click on this leaf option to fill it and adjust the size click on the stick now you draw the circle and by using the transform tool you can increase or reduce the size also change the position like this so basic shape for our planet is ready now i'm going to switch on the transparent uh, lock which means I can only draw on this circle other than that in the empty area I cannot draw because the transfer of pixels are locked so now using the leaf brush I'm going to draw some details for the planet so uh, the concept is fantasy which means this is not going to be uh, looking like a real uh, you know or a more of a kind of a realistic style so this is going to be fantasy full of some basic shapes, zigzags, square, rectangles, circle like that. So don't uh, expect too much uh, realistic things in this. So go on your own imagination, uh, own colors that you like, try different shapes and create your unique, uh, you know, unique uh, details. Uh, you can also alien if you want so everything is up to you because this is going to be to totally fantasy based so this is my planet now now i'm going to add some gradient detail so click on this gradient so uh, once you click on the gradient it will automatically create a new layer for gradient now i'm going to change the color like this so at the top it's going to be like mild aqua blue color and at the top, uh, bottom it's going to be a good you know blue color now adjust it more nearer like this because this is going to be a like clipping layer for our planet and now i'm going to change the blending mode to multiply because i want the planet to be darker at the bottom and brighter at the top so we need some more near, uh, details now now I just created a new layer. Now using the medium nozzle brush. I'm keeping the layer blending mode as add. So like this, I'm going to add uh, you know shiny highlight details for this planet. So it's uh, again at the top it's going to be like glowing, very shiny because there is the light from sun and at the bottom I'm keeping it darker so using some dark blue color and I'm uh, adding these details in the multiply blending mode layer where we had the uh, gradient details adjust the brush size and opacity accordingly okay almost our planet is done 
Now you can see when we use the medium nozzle brush, we get a beautiful texture. So here you can see a very mild, you know, very mild dot dot like texture. If you want to add any texture uh, to any details, you can go for this medium nozzle brush. Now I just created a group for this planet. So click on this combine down option to add the layers inside the um, you know group. Now I'm going to click the clipping because when we add layers one by one inside the group, the clipping will be um, removed. We have to do that again. So now I'm going to duplicate this group by using the copy option now I'm going to create another planet it's going to be far away from us so keeping it very small I'm also um, you know thinking to change the color a little bit because all in the same color not look good so I'm going to the uh, basic uh, you know planet shape layer and making it a little bit bloody using the Gaussian blur you can see the edges are blurred off why is this because uh, this planet is far away from our view so it uh, not need to be very clear so I just blurred it a little bit now also I'm going to change the color using the hue and saturation option so adjust this hue value to where you want so here I'm keeping it like a navy blue color that color here the big planet is uh, more of aqua blue and also again I'm going to the gradient flipping layer that we have for this planet and changing the color in the same way okay another planet is ready yeah. now about this layer about this group I'm going to create a new layer uh, using the orange color and leaf brush I'm going to draw the plan uh, planet details which means the planet that we are in uh, now and viewing all these planets at this space at this sky so that's the concept here so I'm going to draw where I'm sitting which planet that I'm sitting so here it doesn't look that much appealing now but we have to do so much so now I just created a gradient layer and I want to apply gradient to that uh, mountain like details making it a little bit darker at the top like this and switching on the clipping option yeah but the gradient details are more at the top so I'm just using the transform tool to um, uh, bring that colors to the bottom now it is good yeah now I'm going to create another layer before that I'm making it a little bit blurry because this is also far away from us that is uh, you know the mountain details not too much blur just a little bit and now again the uh, you know at the top or uh, what we can call at the front more nearer to us there is some other mountain details so I'm going to draw that so making some dark details using the orange color and again I'm using the leaf brush look like this so again uh, there is no any particular uh, shape uh, that we have to use here so it's totally imaginary totally fantasy based so hi I'm keeping the mountains in a regular manner is regular shape here and now I'm going to add details so I'm using the um, linear burn blending mode layer to add the dark details for this um, layer 
and before that i'm also adding the gradient as before uh, like we added another mountain at the back and we used the gradient details in the same way i am going to add gradient here as well but this time at the front or at the bottom it's going to be darker like this i am using like pink dark pink color at the bottom and orange color at the top and and now i am making it clipping layer you know, like this now in the new layer that we have created i'm also making it clipping layer now i'm going to add these details so it's like the uh surface uh is full of tracks uh rocks you know and darker uh tracks so something like that and this are uh, like shadow where there is no light from the sun so all these so to draw the such details all we need is practice at the beginning you will get confused how to draw and you will have no idea but if you want some idea if you want to get some inspiration you can check pinterest uh, and choose any similar kind of art and uh, you can you know draw that uh, recreate that in such a way you will understand how to create this so at the beginning i also um had so much um, you know on uh, you know so much confusion about how to create such a landscapes because it is uh, it have so many details so many minor details that we cannot draw that is difficult to draw so such a um, insight i had and after drawing that initially and uh, you know uh, getting the and you know, ideas how to make it possible so here you can see i'm adding highlight details using under clipping layer with add blending mode so the details everything is from your imagination uh, and make sure where you want the highlights where you want the shadow details so for shadow use the linear burn blending mode and for the highlights use add blending mode also adding gradient uh, to these details give a huge difference in the appearance so don't forget that and also i want the bottom to be a little bit darker so i'm going back to this and creating a layer between these layers and using some very dark uh, you know magenta color and using fine nozzle brush adding details like this and i'm going to use the gaussian blur to make it blurry blend it well so now we got the darker bottom and here you can see we had so many layers here so now between these um uh, you know these mountain layer that we have created and the another layer mountain layer i'm going to create a uh, foggy detail so for that i just created another layer between that uh, group and uh, the recent mountain that we have created and i'm making it add burning mode so here i'm going to add the glowy details uh, fog details for this planet as well as so between this mountain now go to arvas so i feel like it's very uh, bright so i'm erasing it little bit like this now i'm going to use the caution brush now you will understand what i did so uh, it's like 
pure highlights from the sunlight and between the mountains it's like fog and i feel like we need to blur the fog again so i'm using the laser tool to select this area alone and use the gaussian brush uh, when we use the laser tool for a particular area all other details in the same layer will not be affected except the area that we have selected like this now so it's almost ready and i want to add little bit details to the sky so above the background layer i'm creating a new layer with add blending mode and using the lasso a uh, leaf brush very mild aqua blue color i'm adding details like this and yeah now this ready if you want you can duplicate and make it brighter like me and merge the layers using the merge down option Yeah now it's good the thing is perfect our fantasy landscape is almost ready now go to this share option save this as jpg now i will show you how it looks you can see we have used totally 16 layers and yeah our final fantasy illustration is ready hope you learned something new from me and No thank you for watching subscribe to my channel